and we're back. Next morning, getting a little run in here. Before the day starts, five hours of driving. Woo. We did it. Oh, yes. Woo. Comes to an end, another hotel. Mm -hmm. Next road trip begins. Highlight of the stop. I think our run this morning, or our flight of port. Ooh, fair. So that's all this beautiful palace. Need some more time here next time, but where are we going, Hans? We're going to the Algarve. That's right. That's what you're coming for, but they don't want to let you in. You drop your back to the floor, you ask them what's happening. We just got pulled over by the cops because Brendan was speeding. We were going 170 kilometers per hour, and the speed limit is 120. All right. Life was a little too easy there. We shaved off 20 minutes and we just put it all back on. <laughs> back to life. Back to reality. Sucks. Yeah, no. It doesn't suck though. Life could be worse. I know. 120 euros. I'm not mad at that. Cash on the spot. I bet those guys are ripping that thing up right now lunch, drinks after work. <laughs> Five hours, one speeding ticket later in that thing. 120 euros, tank of gas. We're here. And this place looks epic. So wait, we're having a picnic? We're having a picnic. All right. Well, this is chic. The chicest. We made it. Man. And I came through with the lunch. And the bottle of wine. Out here. On the countryside. Whoa. Sick. Whoa. Beautiful. You're gonna love this bathroom, hands. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. This place is amazing. Wow. Well done, young Bronfman. Well done. Wow. Looks like. Uh, I'm gonna ride some horses. I used to ride Pretty excited. Bucket. All right, all right. Feels good to be back on this thing.
How'd it go? Oh, are you tired? <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yes. That's pretty amazing. Oh, success ends. So much success. <laughs> it's too fun. Can I give him just some of my hair? Say bye to your beloved horse. Um, Hopefully we'll be back again. <laughs> See you. Ciao. Bye. All right. Saddle up the real horses now. We ride it. Oh. All right, took a night off from filming because we just needed dinner, the two of us. So we did it, but one quick story is this shirt right here. Where have I seen this shirt before, Hannah? You tell me. <laughs> I haven't seen this shirt in a long time, but when I met Hannah six years ago in December, seven years. Six years. Six years in December. We met at Art Basel and she was wearing this shirt on the Sunday standard pool party. If you're ever in Art Basel, you know, standard hosts an amazing party on Sunday. And we were just lusting around. Smitten. Smitten, and she wore this shirt with a red hat. And I called it tonight when she asked me, where do you remember the shirt from? And I said, you know what? And I knew exactly where it was from. You're cute. That's called a good memory, folks. Important times, I couldn't relationships do the same, early. But if you're just starting a relationship, remember the key details. It will really help you. I forget a lot, but I remember a few. And this one saved me. All right, good night, folks. See you tomorrow. That was really cute. And we're back. That's right. And this place is magic. Pretty damn impressed. Had a great sleep. Two hour drive to Lisbon today. We're gonna try and take in a bit of this property before we're in the vegetable garden right now, which is a little past season, so nothing much happening. There's a pool at the end of this, and it's kind of the most picturesque hotel we've stayed at in a while. How cool would it be if there's tons of vegetables on all sides of this? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> what do they have to say? You know, we got to make use of our surroundings. How's the shots? You look so good. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful. Another tough one to leave, but hopefully we'll be back. Put this place on your list. We're definitely coming back here. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm down. We have one last place to explore in this magical country. It's true. Portugal, Lisbon. underrated. Here we come. Mm. 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 Oh. So with that, we check out of this hotel. So beautiful. Stole a bottle of wine. <laughs> you know, just in case when we get to Lisbon, we might need a they gave it to us. evening refresher. All right, it was in the room. <laughs> You're correct. 
but pretty happy with this place. Sao Lorenco do Bacaol. Baracol? <laughs> My Portuguese accent is non-existent, so don't expect that that's going to sound great anytime. Anyway, out of here. Two hour drive. Ditch this car at the airport and make our way around Lisbon. Pretty damn excited. I love how you just narrated my story. Just a couple of people with uh, sweaters over their shoulders. <laughs> really moving into our uh, 30s. Oh my god. <laughs> So we just arrived in Lisbon, and I'm telling you, the workmanship everywhere, tiles on the outside of buildings, the sidewalks, the time it would take to make these sidewalks, mind-blowing. We're on a hunt for ceviche, the freshest ceviche spot. In a really cute neighborhood. Look at this sidewalk. And we're going to the new trendy, cool neighborhood from my boy on Instagram, Cool and Vintage, who I've never met before. He might even lend us his car tomorrow, which would be pretty epic. First stop in Lisbon was our favorite, most exclusive store <laughs> in the world, Zara. You can only find them in select locations, people. Lisbon, though, hot. After a slight walk up and down hills, saw some crazy stuff. Here we are. Ceviche time. Gonna eat some of this guy. I can. Where are we going now? Oh, can we actually pop into this pharmacy real quick? Oh boy. We all know you love a pharmacy. No matter what city we go to, we check out the pharmacy. In a shocking turn of events, we made it out of the pharmacy only spending two seconds and only bought one thing. For how much? Seven euros. Seven euros. It's remarkable. A, it's a new world record. <laughs> that is the lowest amount of money you've ever spent in a pharmacy. Thank goodness. Hello. I'm allergic to chocolate, Hannah. I'm not, babe. I know you're not, but I am. Can I try the cacao mix? Everything in here is over 70%. Yeah, it's just incredible. Crazy. Me? What are we on a quest to do? Find a sunset bar. Find the best sunset bar. Oh. Looks like every street you turn around, every street you turn down, and you just want to take a photo. Yeah. We're gonna find the sunset bar that's on top of a parking garage. Sounds pretty epic. So we're in a parking garage. Came out of here, trying to find this bar. In the streets, we're walking to dinner. It's a beautiful walk. You can see these streets, but they're incredible. Well, we're currently talking about bonobos. Well, Brendan, did you know? Okay. Well, I didn't know. I said that bonobos. I said, oh my god, I have a crazy concept. I'll get to that in a second. Kind of like bonobos, you know. And he said, and I said, bonobos was made for guys with larger butts. Their whole thing was founded on 
the fit of their pant being different than any other fit because, he, you know, the, the founder, Andy, didn't want to have to wear a belt, so it's like... Anyway, I didn't know that, so yeah. Hannah said, what if... What if we just started making pants for people with larger calves? <laughs> because, to be honest... Just big and calf you don't pants. I don't know this, but I've split my pants in my calves before. What if we called it holy cow? Because it's calves. calves. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bad dad joke. Anyway, note to self, we're going to dinner. That was a quick update. Actually, we're going to this place for dinner, and um, the chef has about six different restaurants here in Lisbon. He's kind of the it chef. It was really difficult to make the decision on which one of his restaurants to go to, and we decided on Coutinho de Alvarez. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I might not be. I'm taking a right right here. I'm taking a right. So you know. I'm really excited. All right. Let you know what this place is like. Bye now. Check out my calves. Uh. <laughs> we stumbled on the nightlife, Pink Street, and and Pink Street. That's it. Do we need to go down there? I don't think so. Do you Culture's important. We tried to hit the jazz club, but jazz is specific, and you know what? I wasn't feeling the vibe. Just wasn't doing it for me. Sometimes I want like older people playing jazz versus younger. It was everyone in there was under 30, which I have to say was really cool and it's actually very beautiful to see jazz being represented by a young generation, but No, there's tons of young people playing instruments. But playing them well, but, but it just love, wasn't our stuff. What I love about going to a jazz club though is like the in-between moments when the song is done and everyone's just like chatting and bustling and like hooting and hollering and like did you say hooting? I did. It's like and when it's a the song show? was when the songs are over, <laughs> the place was dead. Like you could yeah. just hear everyone's like crickets. It was just like weird. Yeah. Just go find a speakeasy, see what's up. That's it. That's all. Not the craziest night. Um, in Lisbon. Schedule and stuff. Last night is tomorrow. I'm gonna okay, try and get perfect, another in. Perfect. So I'm just taking business calls. Um, so no, business. I'm so excited that you got your visa. Like Good night, folks. Everything. Yeah. All right, last day. Pretty excited about this day. We're doing a tour to the west of Lisbon and through the wonders of Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. I love Instagram. If I haven't told you before. I'll tell you now. We got this for the day. That's right. You put something out there on Instagram, it'll pay you back. Obviously, you know I post cars, post automobiles, and now someone reaches out and says, hey, do you want to borrow my truck for the day? So we're taking this guy, Cool and Vintage's car. Check him out on Instagram, Cool and Vintage. We're going to rally this thing to the west. Ready, hands? How you feeling? All right, let's see what these things are all about. Mmm, it's warm. Whoa, this is delish. Mmm, wow. it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. Come get one of these. It's funny because cinnamon is supposed to actually help curb your You're sweet, hungry? your sweet um, craving. Mmm. This is a really bad angle, babe. I feel like I need more sweets. Thank you. Sorry, I'm gonna hold my hand up. I don't want three chins. <laughs> we came, we saw, we conquered. By the way, hacks. Yeah. See this line out here? What they don't know is if you just go inside and sit down at a table, in the very you don't have back. To wait. Go to the very back. I feel like I should tell the woman with the, with the stroller. 
it. You're gonna sit out here and solve everyone's problems all day? I guess. So. Listen, go to the back. Anyway, that was well worth it. I had one of those as a welcome gift in our hotel room. Not quite the same as going to the source. I didn't have one be at the hotel because I wanted to just have it straight from the source. That's why? Yeah. Hmm. You always let me eat all the snacks. Because you always make sure they're not poisonous. <laughs> That's right. True. With it. Thank you, Hannah. This trip is everything. Woo. Loving this. Solo Gomanero Grill. This is a red emperor. Did you leave this fish grilled in charcoal? So we opened the fish in the middle like a butterfly and grilled. And the red snapper made in your. Thank you. What is, is this the... Crab. Is this the crab? Just plain. Okay, great. Good. Alright, leave it lunch. Caught a few photos. I lost my sunglasses. Lost a pair of sunglasses, which is a hard loss, but... We'll come up on another pair. Loving this truck. Just absolutely loving. Making me want to figure out how to get one of these in New York. Which, give me a reason. I'll find a way. I'm pretty excited. It is super windy out here. But we're gonna go check out Sintra, which is up in the mountains, not on the coast, so we're in the hills. Hopefully it'll be alright. Alright, gotta drive, signing off. I wish you could have seen the ride we just did in this thing up the side of the mountain to go to that castle, which we still don't really understand how we're gonna get up there completely, but let's find out, hands. <laughs> it's not that bad. This place is crazy. Haven't even got in there yet. How was it? That's it, that's all. Signing off with this guy. Been a hell of a day, pretty excited. See ya. <sighs> pretty much sleeping right now. 3 a.m. Trying to get to the airport. Okay. Get out of here. Morning. Good morning, babe. Oh. Our driver was straight up nuts. Oh my god. It is early as hell and none of these doors are even open. How do we get in this place? Some somebody's angry. It's too early to be angry right now. Listen, all I'm saying is like, why would you create an airport? Well, they got an elevator, we're gonna get there. It just doesn't make sense. Go to an end.
I'm so tired. Can't wait to get home. That's it, that's all. I'm gonna pass out on this flight. Go straight to work in two gigs when I get home, and I am excited. Already deep in the work. Alright. Goodbye. It's been real. Fun trips. See you soon.